We're just friends. So don't go. Next yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> that's the clickbait. You've been clickbaited. <laughs> Shit. Take it back. <laughs> did I spawn next to oak leaves? I don't think so. I spawned in a birch forest. <laughs> oh, I did spawn next to oak leaves. Oh, please give me oak leaves. Please, 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 pretty please. Are you starting? Probably. You played Fallout 3, right? Uh, yeah, I've played, like, um, parts of it. I don't have it, but I've played, like, uh, a friend's copy before for a little bit. Yeah, so, you, you know what a death claw is, right? And how tough they are. Um, what's it look like? It's, like, a huge lizard with, like, super long claw. It's, like, okay, tall yeah, as, like, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah, so, um, the developers of Fallout New Vegas decided that Oh, we're frozen again. Um, the developers of Fallout New Vegas decided that Death Claws and Fallout 3 were too easy. <laughs> and so they, they actually made them harder in New Vegas. <laughs> Good. And then... I thought they were too so, easy, too. Yeah, there was a, a there's an achievement in the game. called or There's a DLC that was added to Fallout New Vegas called the Gunrunner Arsenal. That added in a bunch of new fancy weapons and a bunch of like star challenges that you can do for like achievements so there's an achievement you get for doing three one star challenges three two star challenges and three three star challenges and i think the worst part i've ever played in a fall game mm -hmm. was trying to get the deathclaw pro hunter star challenge which was three stars <laughs> <laughs> you have to kill f five deathclaws with some of the worst weapons in the game <laughs> And you can only kill them in one area. So you can't, like, pick off a death claw that's, like, in, like, a secluded area off from everything else. You have to kill them in the central nest of the death claws. <laughs> Is it enclosed? Oh, yeah, you're stuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> There's very few places. It's the quarry junction. Damn. It's, like, this huge, like, mining operation with very few places. Like, you can't, there's nowhere to take cover from them. They can always get to you if they see you. <laughs> Uh, are we playing the game right now? Or are we just like chilling? Well, the timer is going down. Yeah, I'm good to just do a podcast, but like, can we like start? I got my furnace placed, so I'm just smelting gold. Yeah, I just I just started smelting. <laughs> can I be healed my one heart? Can Sorry, I also cannabis. have a heart? I wasn't. I didn't take damage. I just <laughs> would like. Can you take the damage? I'll try taking the 1.5. Okay, hey, we're here, we're here. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back for real. Welcome to season one. Or... <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back to Gateway. It's starting for the fourth time. Fourth attempt. Is and this now... map smaller? <gasps> There's oak leaves. There's oak leaves. Oh, yes. yes, it is. Yeah, I spawned next to an oak tree. A big one. I spawned next to an oak forest. Well... Okay, I guess I did too. I didn't, <laughs> didn't feel like I needed to include all the trees since this one's big, but sure. There's so many oak trees. They're all for me. And it's a border. It's all for me. It's I hope all I find for me. Click it again. I feel like that's the only person I could probably take at this point. There's so many oak trees. Maybe I could take Gavin. He's only at six. There's so many oak trees. But he's kind of a cold-blooded killer now, so I don't know. I mean, he's the one playing this episode, so you gotta watch out. <laughs> yeah. His girlfriend played last episode. Yeah. 
Nice heels, bro. Wait, is he playing odd episodes? Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, I think he's playing odd episodes. You gotta kill an episode too. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's why he said his girlfriend got the kill, because I think his girlfriend literally got the kill. <laughs> no. She, she hasn't even played Minecraft. Hardly. It's just... You just click on the bad guy, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's like CSGO, you just click on their heads. <laughs> Dude, if Gavin's girlfriend has like a KD of like a hundred right now. <laughs> that's pretty good. I I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of these oak trees, I'm not gonna lie. Cause they're all um they're all like the like the big oak trees. Mm-hmm. So that, like, you kind of have to find, like... So you get the big apples. Yeah, you have to, have to find, like, like weird, um... Like, random, like, blocks in, like, the middle of it to make sure it actually decays properly. Yeah. Oh, I know. I have, like, this... My own little secluded part of this forest all to myself and no one else. And there's also a huge cave right next to me that I can go down as soon as I'm done chopping. Oh boy, my life is great. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Part of a team. We're all part of a team. Mm -hmm. Team of life. Team gateway. Team pog. <laughs> hey, toy. I never... I never went through this gateway, so it's not as necessary as they make you think. Man, I really wish I'd gone through this portal earlier. I wish kinda that it had like allowed me to do so. <laughs> well, you win some, you lose said, some. <laughs> the game said no no no, you do not go to the good world. <laughs> You're stuck in <laughs> shit world forever. <laughs> I said no. I said no. Gold. Dude, I have like a spare gap on me right now. This is crazy. <laughs> same. This is, this is wild, bro. Are we even oh playing God. the same game anymore? <laughs> yeah, like honestly, this world, this world's kind of a pog champ, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be real. I'm probably still gonna lose this game because I'm gonna spend the next like 20 minutes chopping trees and not actually like making my gear better. <laughs> Ooh, <gasps> Saya's dead. Yes! <laughs> Fuck you, Saya Stone. <laughs> Fuck Saya. Remember Little when I girl. killed him in Thimblefuck? Remember that? Yes, and he got really gamer angry. <laughs> <laughs> All my homies hate Saya Stone. <laughs> I love Saya Stone. He's my favorite Saya Stone. Saya Stone. Saya Stone. Saya Stone. You know about the Saya Doge meme? Shit. <laughs> Took fall damage. Evan, what? <laughs> Evan with Evan with the ends drew a uh, Saya stone. Cause Saya Saya used to have a like a, a like wolf skin. Uh -huh. Which is why I called him a furry. <laughs> um, and Evan with the ends recolored the classic Doge meme to be the colors of the Saya stone skin. So it was Saya Doge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a Doge skin? I do. I like I'm gonna be on it. I also like my Doge skin. <laughs> I've honestly been thinking about switching over to it permanently. Yeah? Yeah. Jack Frost is nice, but like... It feels like you. You have that yeah. Doge energy. I, I, I don't know, I kinda like, I'm kinda over Jack <laughs> Frost at this point. It's Jack been Frost? Like, it, it's been like, years at this what point. What inspired <laughs> you to be Jack Frost from the beginning? The movie The Rise of the Guardians. I've never seen that. It's a movie where Jack Frost teams up with like 
Santa Claus and Sandman and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy. That sounds epic. And they fight off the literal void of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> if if you thought I thought that sounded epic when I said that sounds epic, <laughs> you don't even want to know how epic I think that sounds now. <laughs> well, what are, what are they fighting? I think it, it literally is like, I think they're fighting like the concept of children not believing them in, in them anymore. Because the because the whole point of the film is that so nobody believes. So they're belie- they're struggling with like perceived irrelevance. Yeah. So the whole point of the film is that people can see the tooth fairy, the tooth fairy, and the Easter Bunny <laughs> because they believe in them, but nobody can see Jack Frost. Yes, no one believes in Jack Frost. That sounds very Jack familiar. Frost. I've either seen that movie or I've seen a movie that like heavily ripped that off. Yeah. Honestly, Honestly? people kind of people kind of sleep on that movie though. It's kind of <laughs> like I kind of like it a lot. <laughs> I feel like I might have seen it. I might have. I don't know. Maybe that's like a common movie premise. It, it, I mean, it's fighting the void kind of <laughs> is. But generally oh we haven't come up with a super villain yet what about the void <laughs> what about the void <laughs> i know it's not very original but it's the fucking void <laughs> yeah i mean nothing's scarier than just like nothing <laughs> that's what they did for uh the thor 2 have your they mind filled in the fear yeah they, they said what can we do let's hey, have that's char- what they did for minecraft <laughs> they said um what can we do to make our uh, our main bad guy scary in thor 2 and they said have them exist before the universe was created. <laughs> and so canonically in Thor 2, the fucking dark elves existed before the universe. <laughs> how do you exist before there's a universe to, like, house you? Um, I don't know, bro. I think like, you just gotta get good. Like, where do you exist at prior to the universe? <laughs> like, what you doing? Uh, you just kind of, you just vibe <laughs> <laughs> Like is that really know. is that really a flex? Like oh yeah, the universe wasn't a thing, so I'm just like chilling, I guess. Yeah, I can like exist without the universe. Like so what I'm evil like... is there even to like get up to if there's no universe to like mess up? Well, that's the thing. The evil is the lack of there being a universe. But if it wasn't invented yet, can you really blame them? I mean, yeah, they're just kind of like they're just kind of like boomers. <laughs> Just like, this whole just universe sh- thing, I liked it better without. Yeah, I don't know if I really like to show universe thing. I think we should just like hit the reset button. <laughs> God. Yeah, but they basically just made fun of Thor two in um, End Game, which is really funny. <laughs> Cause Thor doesn't really really have any connection to the Infinity Stone in that movie, and then in End Game, they're just like. He's drunk and fat, and he doesn't remember anything about it. <laughs> uh, I haven't watched, like, the majority of those movies, so I don't know the whole overarching story of the Infinity Stones. <sighs> it's not important, too. You, it's, you're not missing anything. I like, feel like too many Marvel movies have the general same, like, outline like i enjoy them every once in a while but like i can't watch them all because then i start to be like yeah know, this is just the same movie it's the <laughs> same it's the same movie it's the same like format change some characters change a few things rearrange some things but it's like the same general like yeah. event of like villain rises up hero who's like hasn't done anything in a while like comes out of retirement and like gives it one yeah. good shot and then the villain's like victorious because the heroes all washed up or whatever and then some major like learning moment happens that like changes everyone's perspective and then like they have a final battle and oh it worked good (laughs) yeah i mean congratulations on describing every single marvel movie ever made yeah (laughs) including the ones yet to come out and you probably just inspired a marvel movie right now they're taking notes uh that's just what i feel happens every time and i'm just like yep check 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 and after a while, it just feels like a checklist of, like, cliches more than a movie. That's why it's, like, I enjoy the ones where they kind of get weirder directors yeah. to do things. Like, That's why I really like I a lot of the X-Men movies, even though people don't. I feel like at least it's, like, different every time. <laughs> I saw my favorite tweet that was, like, start of X-Men movie, Wolverine. 
I'm gonna go fuck up Magneto. <laughs> Every single other X-Men. But your bones are made of metal, Wolverine. General angst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. End of, cut to end of movie, Wolverine. Ah, my bones. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's like... I was gonna say, my, my favorite Marvel movie is Thor 3 because they got uh, Taika Waititi to make it. Mm -hmm. And he is fucking hilarious, dude. Like, genuinely. <laughs> I haven't seen Thor 3. Should I check it out? Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, worth very much. Worth the watch from someone who's not the biggest Avenger fan? Bro, I would literally, like, I would watch it with you. <laughs> Do it. Can you stream it somehow? I mean, I have Disney+, Plus, so we can just, like, I can stream just watch it. it and <laughs> I don't want to stream it to the entire anchored call. That that feels n notably more illegal than just streaming it to you. <laughs> well, more illegal? If it's more illegal, why wouldn't you want to do something more illegal? Ah, you're right. Fuck billion dollar corporations. <laughs> what if Dave wants to see Thor 3? Tell him to join the call. Tell he said no. Tell him it's happening right now. Oh my god, there's so many spiders, bro. Oh my god, there's so many spiders and stuff. <laughs> Do you see me? No, we just want to know if you want to watch <laughs> Thor 3. Bro, I'm just asking a question. You ain't gotta get all defensive about it and shit. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna get one more apple and then just just fuck it. Just everything can get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I only need two more apples, and if I get one more, then I can save another one for a head and be like a pro old UHC gamer. Because that's what I am. I am an old school UHC gamer. And you are a pro. Hello. Hello? Uh, server just froze. Did it? Oh, yeah, it did. Just for a, a hot second. Oh, it's good now, it's good now. Mm hmm Uh, but I got real spooked was the thing. Is meetup in three minutes? Uh, it sure is, Bob. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. It'd be cool if I got enchanted, but I'm just gonna find Click a Cat. I'm just gonna keep wearing these, uh, these awesome pants I have. Oh, I just saw a portal. Oh, are the portals here too? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's a dopage. Yeah, if you came here earlier, you would ideally be able to get back. <laughs> I I didn't reason. know I didn't know that. I didn't know that you could actually go back. Yeah. I thought it was just like a I thought it was just a one way trip. I did bring up the point while building the portals, hey Quill, what's exactly the point of going back? And he had a moment where he's like, uh you know, I actually have no idea <laughs> why you would go back to the worst world for <laughs> getting resources after you've moved, but... you I mean, just giving people options to do it, though. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's kind of good. I was like, I had to build four more portals for it, though, so I was like... <laughs> we can just fucking world edit it in. It's so easy. Well, we did, but um, I had to terraform around four more portals. Build one and then terraform three. Oh, yeah. Did it... <laughs> Yeah, you know the the round we played last week that uh, we can't mention, and the viewers yeah. are totally like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it." Um, there were world edit glass around every structure. Hmm. <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. <laughs> me, me, and my super secret teammate, um, we were wandering around like F five, and we found two unrated structures with a random glass around it, and we said, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we you built realized, it in the oh, void. Wait. <laughs> we use glass. I realized, oh wait. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Yeah. I got like, oh, my. I'm so happy like <laughs> at the people who debuted in that season. I got so many of them that I wanted. Yeah, bro, you kind of, you, you got some pullage in that round, I'm realizing. Yeah. You know. 
I, I kind of didn't Just realize that you had as much pullage as you did until I was in the round playing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like... Don't underestimate I'll... me. I said I'd get you in. I said it would happen eventually. Yeah. You messaged me about you messaged me about it and then like two months later i was in so you know what i mean that's a that's a victory royale <laughs> hey you tell me like you know i'd like to be in this round and i i see an opportunity i'm like well i'd like you to be in it too bro i just want to be in any rounds you know okay you want to be in phobia if you can convince mr chasma <laughs> slain by these nuts <laughs> gg <laughs> Uh, something on that note. <laughs>